Hello. Hi. Good evening. Welcome back to Gav's Drums. This is the final and third one on the Kiddenhead's original collection. Tonight, we're going to look at two drums. We're going to look at four and five. Glenn Burgay, 13 year old, 46%, 60 pound. Tamadou, 15 year old, 70 pound. Bob and Miller also. So we'll put that one aside there like that. Don't knock it down. And that's the empties I've got in order at the moment, but I'll change that. Now, what have we got in front of us? 13 year old Glenn Burgay. Who's they say? Urban Tony Port Nose Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream Weechee Coffee Sweets Taste Juicy Dates Red Cherry Hint of Cedarwood Pine and Shavings Finish Dried Raisins Walnuts Peanut Butter That's no bad, that's a bit you understand what they are when they come away with some of these this stuff you've never heard of and cheesecake and all this stuff. That's not too bad. So let's take the cover off it. Bring it up. Nice colour. No, it's honey pot. No, I've got the proper glasses at the night. Don't know why I don't use these all the time, you know that, that these are great glasses. Um, so holding reasonably well. They're holding a bit better. And they're starting to come down the glass reasonably fast. And they're quite thick. They're no thin. We didn't have a bead in it. Because it's less than forty percent. There's a lot about pinkish in it. I would say so. Take it to my nose. There's that sweetness. What's there? Quite a nice nose. No, the other two. Um. Paco. Furniture polish. When I say furniture polish, I mean old wood. When you go into your room when it's dark and that's where you're getting the tobacco. Got to go into a smoker's room. No any prickle. That's actually quite a pleasant nose actually. That's probably out of the four Originals, I think that's the nicest nose, got to be honest. Very nice nose. It's quite musty. Wood shavings. All that kind of stuff. Right, let's take it to the pile. Let's see what we've got. Mmm. Thick mouthfeel. The cast's working. It's no spirity. It's no spirity at all. The cask is taking over. Uh, and that could be the the port, the twenty port. Um juicy dates, red cherries, hints of seed. Well I, I said wood, didn't I? Cedar wood. I would go with that. Um, and I also said shavings go I go with that as well. It's pleasant. That's really, really, really pleasant. It's not got a long finish, or has it? It's not really. Dry raisin, walnuts, peanut butter. 
there's everything. That's a nice drum. I must admit, I quite like that. That's a decent drum. What's that coming in at? £60, 46%, 13-year-old. I don't know. I don't think I've tasted the like Glen Burgie. It's a whiskey. Again, I wouldn't probably buy. But that, that's pleasant. That really, really is pleasant. You know what? You know it's 46%. Don't shout at me. I'm going to put two drops in it. Just to see what it does. I'm going to put a lot of water in it. But I would just put just a wee drop. We sugar, Gav sugar. Come on, get a wee sugar, Gav. Changing much. I like that. I really, really like that. Can you buy them all? I've ordered the two Enigmas. Unless I cancelled one and got that. That's nice. That is a lovely, lovely dram. So let's put that up there. So where am I going to put that at the moment? Um, I think we'll move that into second place. Pretty easily at the moment. Okay, nice good drink of water. Time to do 15 year old. Now this is dearer. This is 70 pound. Bourbon or also. Nose. Meaty. Mint. Spring oregano. Mm -hmm. Taste. Figs. Wood orange. Maracino cherries. I love that. Mocha coffee. Finish. Earthiness. Can you pronounce that one? Uh, I'm not even going to attempt it. Cola, cubes, and dried herbs. Um, P E T R I C H O R. Right. Right, here we go. A lot darker, as you can see. A lot darker indeed. Let's bring it up. One decent term. That's two times, but never mind. Let's see what I can get you. Mm, nothing great. I'm oh, hanging quite well. Going quite slow. Right, let's see. This is the one I fancied. This is the one I fancied, but that. That's impressed me. Really like that. Right, another wee drink of water. Get it right, Gav. Come on. Bring it up. Definitely more sherry. Um, again, it's not a sherry bomb. There's a light spice in there. Now, I couldn't tell you whether it'd be oregano or what it was. Right. But it's telling you oregano. So there is a slight spice to it. It's no it's no peppermint spice. It's a lovely spice. It's a warm spice. Just not a hot, just a lovely, lovely spice. Nice. Mint spring oregano. Aye, it is spicy. It's definitely a nice spice. Something else there. What is that? I don't know. It's just something else coming into the back of that. Maybe that's what they mean by the meatiness, the thickness. I would go with everything that says and that's on their nose. Right, which I normally don't get. Uh, meaty mint, spring, spring oregano, but definitely it's, it's spicy. 
but it's it's no a warm spice. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely. What? What is that? See me you do that, and then you get it, and then all of a sudden, there's something comes in at the back of it, and I couldn't tell you what it is, but it's different. There is something there. And can't it is different, but I can't I can't tell you what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just something. That's beating me. It might come to me. Right, where we go? more spirity just a wee bit spicy spice on the palate it's definitely on the palate it develops quite quickly it's starting to change and then decent finish but it's no. Sometimes when you get a finish, it goes and then it comes back, and that's no coming back. What's what does it say? Figs. But what? I wonder if that's figs. I wonder if that's what it is. Managing the carrot. And there is there is a coffeeness to it. There's a rich. There's a rich. There's a richness to it. Definitely a richness to it. Um. Earthiness. Come on, cubes, dry tears, and drives it. Aye, it's it's spicy and it's herby. Herby, not a motor car. Herby, spice. Don't try jokes, Gary. What is that? Is a whiskey that you would pour and you would nose it and then you put it down. And you would go back and you'll get different things for that. That is a whiskey that a lot of guys would like just to go in and get what I call a fighter. And what I mean by a fighter, there's something different coming for you every time he knows it. It's heavy. It's just different again. Now let's just, again, let's just buy a lot of two spots, eh? One, two. Now, I like the two of them tonight. I'm thoroughly enjoying them. Um, I would buy them, but I can't buy everything. Um, I bought the two Enigmas, which is... Over it was probably about 140, 150 pound. Um, if they lie and they don't sell next month, I would probably have a look at one or two of them. Um, that's how I would play this. I would buy they two, the two Enigmas certainly, and then well I've ordered them, and then depending if these sell, I would be tempted now. I don't know whether to put... I'm going to put the two second. They, they, they're two different whiskies. They're definitely different. But they're two beauties, honestly. They're two lovely. I like that, but I like that and all. It's so meaty. And I mean meaty. And it's thick. And it's earthy. And there's so much happening and it's changing. So that's the time do. And it's £70, so it's a lot dearer than that one. I think I've got a wee bit left in that. What's it called? Burgi. See, I'm getting a better nose on it now. But it's it, that's lighter than that.
totally different. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to shade it. Right. So we'll put them there. First place, a Campbelltown blend for 15 year old. I thought that was stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to put the Tamadu second. And I'm going to put the Grunbergi third. There is no much between them, dependent, although they're different, they could, you could put both second, uh, but we're going to go, because I think that's just a wee bit more meatier, um, the 25 year old blend, I think it's hard to judge, because it's a blend, and I keep saying this, and I will always say this, it's not a mole, it's not even a blend, it's a different animal, it's different, I think when you're judging these, you really need to judge that with, that with other blends. Now that could be something I could do one night, maybe get half a dozen blends out and, and judge the blends. That would be interesting. That's one for the future. But I'll put that in there. Uh, Clint Elgin was all right. It was, it was fine. I'm trying to remember. Um, uh, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. It was fine. It was okay. Definitely did not like the Royal Blackcock. It just didn't do anything for me at all. But somebody else might put that first. It really is a dirty taste. So that's that, guys. That's the Caden Heads pack. I think these bottles all come out on the 15th, at Friday, the 15th of committing. You'll get them at your local Caden Head shop. They're all good. They're nothing really cheap on them. So let me run through the prices. So you've got Royal Blackler, £65. See, I, I, no for me. Definitely no for me, but it may be for somebody else. The Blended Enigma, £70. So I would pay the £70 before that. But again, it's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know, I keep saying malted blend. It's a Scotch blend. The Elgin's £55. Glen Borgie, £60. Tamadu, £70. And your Campbelltown, which I think was the best, was £65. Now, that is that because I know it was in that? I'm a Calcarin fan, and I'm a Hazel Box. I've got it right tonight. Uh, yeah, what's the other night? I couldn't find that. I'm saying, what is it? I'm thinking Roseburn, I'm thinking Roseburn. I'm saying, no, it's not Roseburn. What the hell is it? And I couldn't, I couldn't get it out. I knew one was cocaine, and I, I was thinking, what is that? What is it? What is it? And I'm humming and hawing, and I thought, ah, oh, it's hazel burn. And I say to myself, it's triple distilled. So that's them. That's the only one I, 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 I'm not, I'm not keen on. But each to their own. Um, the one you would buy, it's up to you. Some people will just buy one. Uh, that's a lot of money. Some people, I know people that buy the whole lot, and this is what I'm not going to swear. Well, I'm going to swear. This is what pisses me off. There's guys will come in and buy every one of them and put them in the auction, and I hope they get their fingers burnt. I really, really do. I collect whiskey, I sell whiskey, but I don't buy, go and buy it and sell it the next week. It's unforgivable. It really, really is unforgivable. But that's what they do. They're making money, so you can understand why they do it. And then when Caden Heads and Springbank put their prices up, we all moan like hell. So why why should Springbank say, oh, we'll sell you this for seventy pound? Well, that's a bit expensive. And then some nut are going to pay one hundred and forty pound for that. Caden Heads and Springbank must be saying. Why, why are we not selling at that price? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Right, off my soapbox. Thanks for watching Gab's Drums. I hope you've enjoyed this to be serious. Um, I've got quite a few I can open in the next one. Um, I bought a uh, kidney heads. Is it, is it, is it, is it, I don't know if I can put my hands on it. And it's there. I bought this the other day. 
Hayden Head's cocaine distilled and it's a seven year old peated whiskey. And I wonder whether you open it and taste it on its own. Um, two hundred two thousand and fifteen. The still two thousand and fifteen. Bottled spring, two o three. Cask bourbon barrel. Uh, number of bottles. It's either two five two or two eight two. Am I driving? It's not the God Almighty. I think it's two five two, and it's fifty six percent. The boys in the shop have tasted it. It's quite, it's quite meaty. Um, I think I'll match it up with batch five, six, or seven. They say they should match it up with with seven. I don't know. I've got few opened. I've got six, seven, or seven and eight's not opened yet. So I might match it up with one of them. Here it's there. Ah, uh, and it cost me sixty pound. I think that's a good buy. I think that's a decent buy. So I might do that next. I might have a look at something else. I might do it and then match it up with, with a, see what you think. Would you, would you want me to match it up? Um, what one would you want match? There, there, there's, there's a good thing for you. If I open that, what one would, would I match it up with? Would I match it up with a coherent five, five, six or seven? See what you think, and we'll, we'll, we'll match them up. That's what we'll do. So, thanks for watching Gab's Drams. Going on a wee bit in the night. And press the bell, press the subs button. And I want you to know if you go to the description box below, I've got a link where you can buy me a coffee or a dram. Much appreciated, guys. Um, and it just helps me. Uh, get some good whiskies. I try to buy good whiskey. I try to buy quality whiskey, and I'll open quality whiskey. Um, so, cheers! Thanks for watching, Gams Grams. I'll toast you on this one because I like this. Oh, I like this time of day. Cheers. Gorgeous. Can you buy them all? <laughs>